Now, during and after the civil war, the Ihamufu Bridge played a significant role. However, when it caved in, a temporary bridge was put in place, which has worn out as a result of usage over a long period of time. An eyewitness photo sent to us gives us an inkling into what the people of the community are faced with. We visited, and here is our findings. Ehamufu, a community in Isuzu local government area in Enugu state, is one of the largest communities in the local government. With the importance attached to this local government, federal assets such as Federal Government College of Education in Enugu, functional railway line in Rukano to Boltakot were set up here. The people of Ehamufu are predominantly farmers producing rice, yam, oil, gari in the large quantity attracting buyers from different parts of the state. <laughs> On every fourth AK market, it's a beehive of activities here. Buyers of products from this town come from as far as Port Harcourt, Abba, Uwere and Inwu. <laughs> One major challenge, however, is this bridge, the only linkway between the market and the town. The bridge, which is in a very dilapidated state, was built by the federal government and collapsed during the Civil War. The then military regime put up this hanging bridge to serve as an alternative pending the rebuilding of the collapsed bridge. According to Mr. Ekechuku Ome, a one-time local government chairman, the wooden platform was upgraded to a metal plate and has been undergoing some retouching from time to time for sustenance with the help of other prominent members of the community. It was collapsed during the Nigerian Civil War and then the then military administration put this hanging bridge. Uh, since then it has been re uh, spoiling and we are getting it repaired. The bridge was covered with checkered uh, wood. But when I came on board, because I am from this place, I know exactly what we have. As a small boy, I have worked severally as a laborer here. So I had to change the system and then bring in some experts that changed this bridge and covered it with checker plate. This is what we have been managing and on different occasions I keep repairing it so that our people can come in and then go out. We encountered what usually happens on a typical day when a car breaks down on the bridge. Traffic stranded passengers, frustration, all rolled up in one. So all hands must be on deck should they need this to pass by as fast as possible. It's been years of losses as told by this community member. If I'm not mistaken, the bridge has been like this for the past 15, 20 years or even more than. And it has, many people have lost their life on that particular bridge, on even this road. So there's nothing we have not done for government to attract the attention of the government to this road. You cannot come to this place on rainy season without a story to tell. Or towards December. You have a bad story to tell about this road. This poor bridge has hampered economic activities in the area, making it difficult for buyers to come in. And when they eventually do, the prices of the products bear the brunt, not minding the efforts put into production. We have been cultivating a lot of things in this community. But because of this road, no vehicle to carry it. Even if they try to come, they will price the goods very low and take it outside. So the farmers are suffering. The business people are suffering. Even the civil servants. Some civil servants, top, top people that are supposed to live in this community, all of them are parking to Enugu because of this bad road. So we are missing a lot. I hope if government can come in here, there will be improvement, in, even in the life of us. Some of us that are graduates, there are no work. The bridge, when fixed, will not just open up the place, but also give easy access to people going to the northern part of the country from Abakaliki and Cross River. Another former local government chairman, Professor Sam Ugu, said the road has been awarded on several occasions by the federal government, but never fixed. Ubola for, he came in Hamufun Kalago Road. It's a federal road. Every year it is in a budget and nothing happens. Under Shagari administration, they did it from Obolaf and stopped at Ikim. The current administration has also done it from Unsuka and stopped at Ikim. 
They are yet to move towards a Hamufu, and we don't know why they have not done that. And it's a very important road. It links Enugu, Ebony, and Cross River. But the federal government is not doing anything about it. So many Beli bridges are there begging for attention at this moment. Well, it's good they have brought it to our notice. We look at it. After all, we have intervened in so many of these uh, roads. And then, uh, and then um, we'll look at it and see what can be done. But it is important to mention that that is a federal road. You know, it's supposed to be a federal project. And then I think the first thing I will do, since you have mentioned it to me, is to bring it to the knowledge of the uh, Federal Minister of Works. We relate, we, are, you know, we discuss issues that uh, have been interviewed on this particular project and they need to do something. Their response will now determine the next step we can now take. It's an urgent call for both the federal and state governments to take a proactive step as the rainy season sets in.